A major development this afternoon in the Middle East. The top political leader of Hamas killed in an overnight attack. Yeah, the death of Ismail Hania in Tehran is a dramatic blow to Hamas. This as negotiations to free hostages in Gaza were underway. Leaders across the Middle East are pointing the finger of blame directly at Israel for the assassination, including Iran's supreme leader, who says his country has a duty to take revenge after the attack inside its capital. It throws an already unpredictable and deadly conflict into a potentially treacherous new phase. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is in the newsroom with details. Well, this morning, Iran's U.N. mission here in New York issued a statement in which it vowed to retaliate after one of Hamas's leaders was killed overnight. Iran saying the responsible will be the response will be special operations harder and intended to instill deep regret in the perpetrator. And so far, as you said, no one has claimed responsibility, but many are accusing Israel for that hit on Ismail Hania. Israel said that he was one of the masterminds of the Hamas attack on Israel in October. Hania was in Tehran for the inauguration of the new president of Iran, and Iran is the main backer of Hamas as well as Hezbollah. Just yesterday, Israel took out a senior member of Hezbollah in a precision strike in Beirut, Lebanon. That was in retaliation for the weekend missile attack by Hezbollah that killed 12 children and teenagers in the Golan Heights. The victims are all Druze. Fuad Shukr, that Hezbollah member who was killed, was also wanted by the United States. And the U.S. knew of this planned attack, but the U.S. says it did not have any advanced knowledge about the attack on the Hamas leader overnight. The region is already in a very tenuous situation, and the Hamas leader was one of the main people involved in ceasefire talks. What happens with those talks now in the ongoing war in Gaza is unclear. The same goes for the return of Israeli and American hostages taken by Hamas on October 7th. I think it's all connected, but I think, uh, quite frankly, I don't, I don't see uh, a return to uh, where we were several, uh, several months ago, not yet. Now, the Qatari prime minister, who was one of the mediators in the Israel-Hamas war, said on social media today, how can mediation succeed when one party assassinates the negotiator on the other side? Meanwhile, Israel is preparing for all possibilities, and it is worth noting that the U.S. has also fired on Iranian-backed militia groups in southern Iraq just in the past day.